Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today I'm going to show you how to add a font in Windows 11. Now the neat thing about doing it this way is once we add it in Windows 11, it shows up on all of our other applications on our computer, like LibreOffice Calc, Writer, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and even Photoshop. So add it in Windows with a few clicks of your mouse and it automatically shows up everywhere else. I cannot wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. My favorite source for new fonts is 1001fonts.com. Now, not only do they have tens of thousands of fonts to choose from, which is awesome, but they also let us know if our favorite font is for commercial use or personal use. So if you look here, if this dollar sign is red, then the font is free for personal use. If it is green, it is for commercial use. Now the difference is, if you're using this font to distribute an email or something within your office, then you're probably okay using a personal use font. If you're doing something like I am, or you're printing t-shirts, or you're selling something, then you need to pick one that is for commercial use so you do not get into legal trouble. So I'm going to scroll down and find one that is green, and we have some here, and I like clap hand regular. So if we go over to a couple of our applications like Photoshop and we try to find this font, it says it, it does not exist. Microsoft Word, it says if you continue, it will be saved as a, the current font and it's not available, so we know it's not there. And in LibreOffice Calc, we can do the same thing, type in clap, and it does not exist there either. Now we're going to see how adding this font to Windows will make it available in all of our applications. So now we want to download our font. If we go to download, if you notice it's downloading it into a zip file into our downloads folder. So we want to double click on the zip file in our downloads folder and we will see several different file types. We have a JPEG, we have a text document that contains our licensing, we have a TTF and an OTF. So let me explain the difference between a TTF and an OTF. 99% of the time, you want to use the OTF. So TTF or true type font is an older technology for fonts and OTF or open type font is a newer technology that has more capabilities, including being able to use them in vector images and the font stay crisp, clear, and clean. So if you have an older technology that you're trying to use a font for, and it's not taking the OTF, then try the TTF, but you should be okay using OTF. So now we wanna double click on open type font, and you can get a preview of what the font is going to look like in different sizes, and we're gonna go up to install. And it doesn't take but just a few seconds if you notice the install box popped up and went back down before I could even tell you it was doing it. So that's really good. So if you want to verify that your font has been installed on your computer, which I generally do, it puts them in your C drive under Windows and Fonts. Now this has all of your fonts across all of your applications and putting it in here is what gives us the ability to see it everywhere. So you can go up to search fonts and type in clap and then it'll show you that clap hand regular is within our fonts folder. And now we should see it in all of our applications. Let's go check. So really quick before we start testing this out, I wanted to let you know that I tested it out earlier on my own, so it's going to show up in my recently used. If it's the first time you've used your font, you can either type it in and hit tab, or you can scroll down your list and find it. So let's start with my Microsoft users. We're in Microsoft Word. If we go to our font, clap hand is there. In Excel, if we go to our font and we type in clap hand, and hit tab, it's there. In PowerPoint, go to our font, clap hand is there. Now for my LibreOffice users, I'm in Writer, so go to font and clap hand is there. In LibreOffice Calc, go to font and clap hand is there. LibreOffice Impress, go to font and clap hand is there. And finally, for my Photoshop users, 
Go to font and clap hand is there. And there you have it. How quick and easy was that? Now just make sure that when you select your favorite fonts from the internet, you are double checking their licensing requirements. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget, if you need written instructions for this tutorial, hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, and you can find it there. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.